to another series of Behind the Wheel. My name's Matthew, I'm one of the curators at the National Motor Museum. Here today we have a 1965 Volvo P1800 S. Now many people might think the S stands for sports, given that it's a sports looking car. It actually stands for Sweden. The reason for that is the bodies were originally were built in the UK by a company called Denson. And then uh, eventually Volvo took the bodies back in house and built them in Gothenburg, Sweden. So the S actually stands for Sweden. By the way, this car was made famous by a TV character called Simon Templer in the series The Saint, and that was played by Roger Moore, who later became James Bond. The story goes that the producers of the series actually approached Aston Martin looking for a car. And Aston Martin said, we're actually doing quite well in ourselves. We don't really need any of your uh, advertising or help. See you later. So they went to Volvo, and Volvo gave them one of these. And the car proved so popular with Roger Moore that he actually purchased the car that he drove in the TV series and uh, enjoyed it in his own private time. So as I said, these were styled in um, Italy by Gear, and I do that because actually they were styled by a Swedish chap called Pelle Pettersson under the tutelage of people at Gear. So although it was advertised and marketed as a Gear design, it was actually probably more likely a Volvo design when all said and done. Uh, and they did a pretty good job for 1965. It definitely was different from the Volvo Amazons and other vehicles that Volvo were known for. So uh, not a huge seller by international standards. Still, it put Volvo's name in lights when it came to sports cars. So the body style is a 2 plus 2 sports coupe, you could say. Um, while they look extremely elegant, their uh, performance was probably not quite up to the, the body shape and the body style. We'll have a look, a little look under the hood with Nigel now, and he can uh, elaborate on the um, scintillating performance that the engine uh, produced on these vehicles. Okay, Nigel, would you like to uh, explain a bit about the uh, features of this particular vehicle? Well, it's a uh, four-cylinder. Twin carb, 1.8 litre. It was actually a modification, or basically run the same running gear as the uh, 122 series. Um, but this one's just been a little bit more beefed up. Uh, so up to 1.8 twin carbs, and I think around about an extra eight horsepower. This one's a four speed manual gearbox. There is no overdrive on this one, but they actually reckon that the four speed uh, manual was actually quicker than what the overdrive version was. So. Um, pretty typical for Volvo, they haven't really changed an awful lot even when you look at the, uh, the 144s and everything else in the 70s and the 80s, rocket covers almost look pretty much identical so uh, they haven't changed an awful lot but it was actually designed more as a Grand Tourer than as a sport so more, more than a sports car so actually not too bad to drive on the road so maybe we should hop in and uh, Give her a little burn, you reckon? Sounds fun to me. Let's give it a go. Okay. So you ready, mate? Okay, Nigel. Let's uh, kick her into gear and see what she does. You're holding on to you. Got your seatbelt on, you're going to need it. I'm holding on tight, mate. As you can see, the interior is fairly typical layout for a 60s car. Um, Four-speed gearbox. Four-speed gearbox. No overdrive. No overdrive in this one. Nice long bonnet to look over. It's actually quite a comfortable sort of car. It's pretty original inside, pretty original outside. Had a little bit of paintwork done on it. Motor and everything else all look reasonably original. Um, it actually steers and handles not too bad. So this vehicle was recently donated by a gentleman from uh, South, South, South Australia. Uh, it was one of a number of P1800s he's owned and he decided that he would like this one to go to the Motor Museum. So He's uh, added an extra feature down here, which um, you haven't is worked out what they are yet, have you? No, typical from the Saint. Um, but you know what happens when I press this button, don't you? I'm not sure, but I might not be here shortly. You know, hold on to the seat, you're going to come down. <laughs> They're apparently ejector seats. No. 
Oh, well, maybe the fuse is broken. I think my one's failed to function, thankfully, folks. Well, I think mine has too, so, which is even better for you because if yours didn't work and mine did, you were in a lot of trouble. <laughs> That's true. All right, folks, thank you very much for another episode of Behind the Wheel, and uh, we'll see you on the other side.